What are we doing today, you might ask? Oh, um, we've got the old Ford 1710 model here. It's been a real good tractor for us. We are going to make it a forklift truck today. Okay, I'm going to make some forks. I want to make some forklift forks for this thing so I can pick up pallets or just whatever I need to with some long forks. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. It is 26 degrees out right now. I think it got down to about 17 last night. So fairly cold for the Mississippi region. Uh, we got to get some work going and get our temperature up. All right, Ford 17, 10, forks. I'm here on the back side of the man cave shipping container. There's the air conditioner we did. I've got this, uh, I don't know what this is called. Uh, I guess it'd be called I channel or H channel, something of that nature. This is what we're gonna make our forks out of. This is roughly eight inches wide. I got some of this scrap and we're gonna make one of these, a set of forks for the tractor. Alright, here is our beam that we're going to be using. I am going to make seven foot long forks. Um, and the bucket is about one inch, uh, one foot wide, so that'll actually give me about six foot forks, usable fork length. So I took seven foot from here and measured out. We're gonna cut that right there, and then we did seven foot from the other side. We're gonna cut that straight across. I could have divided this directly in half and did one cut. That would have made it simpler. Um, I got this little bit of bad spot, which probably wouldn't have mattered, but I want this all nice and clean, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the time and make two cuts with the cutoff wheel on a grinder. All right, this right here is basically what we're working with. This is how these are gonna work. I'm gonna take some metal, that same metal I used to make those, uh, that bracket for the tire holder, that four inch by quarter inch flat stock. I'm gonna make some stirrups to go over this. And I'll probably take some two inch and put it right here because it won't be holding the brunt of the weight. And right back here is where this will be 
this is the most critical part back here so I'm going to use heavier steel right here we're going to make some stirrups that these will slide into and you see we've already got these holes that one over there's got one too we'll end up utilizing those holes uh, what I'll probably do is cut a hole in the top stirrup and we can screw a bolt down and that'll hold those in place when we're using them and we don't need them we can take the forks out so uh, my measurements are I'm doing 24 inches from center to center that's pretty much a standard pallet size so let's say a truck ever came over here that had a pallet on it and I needed to get it off the truck I could do that uh, if I ever needed to lift a engine out of a car this would work um, I've actually got a project uh, that I'm going to use this on in the next couple days maybe and I'll show you that where this is what I came up with this is what I kind of needed to have to get this project done so we're going to see if it'll work Folks, just a friendly reminder, grinding causes sparks. I caught my jacket on fire. Thought it was getting warm. All right. We got the supervisor out here with us. Let me show you where we're at. This is the scrap piece we uh, used. I got my four by quarter inch plate. Give yourself extra room. We don't want this thing super tight, but we don't want it super sloppy. Got to have a little room on all sides. Got my metal cleaned up and beveled. I'm going to tack it on the outsides here. Tack it here and here. Gonna burn this in hot, burn this in hot, cut these tacks, flip it over, burn the inside, and then we'll put that back on. But don't burn me. I'm not gonna burn you. I already burned myself. Did you see my jacket? Look, I burned a hole in my jacket. I caught on fire. Well, where did you got caught on fire? Right here with the grinder. What did you do yesterday? Today. 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 All right, we gotta get back to work. America, I need to apologize. I have spoken some mistruths. I have deceived you. I need to come clean on a couple of things. I told you I was gonna add extra stirrups right here and here, two inches. I'm not going to, I'm feeling lazy. I'm feeling like these set of four inches will be just fine. I am going to stabilize these forks with this piece that I told you I was going to use for a jack 
stabilizer on muddy ground. I'm going to take this piece, place it here, and weld it to keep these forks stable, to keep them from going in and out as such. I'm not going to fully weld this in, I'm just going to stitch weld this in. And I think we'll be stable enough for what I'm wanting to do. So without further ado. Folks, we've run into a bit of an issue. My nuts aren't big enough. Yeah. Nor are my bolts. Um, okay, yeah. so this is what I got right now. This is what I'm gonna use. This is just for safety purposes. This little doohickey here. It's gonna go right in here. Oh, that's right good. like that. And that will keep these from coming out. We're good and solid, as solid as I need to be. Yeah. Said so we'll get some bigger bolts. Uh, weld the nut onto this piece where the hole is, and then the bolt will go through this piece and screw into the bolt, uh, into the nut. And that will keep it from sliding out like so. All right, but I think. I am done for the day for the most part. What we have, we've got our forks. We're gonna smooth those ends out with the grinder. Taper them a little bit, smooth them out. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them up. There's our stirrups. I gotta clean those up. Where? Paint them. Are you gonna paint these? Yeah. Paint the forks eventually, just not this weekend. Hey, Dad. Maybe tomorrow. Dad, Dad, Dad. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, Dad. Can you, can you paint them blue? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow we will utilize this I mean, my, device. I mean, you can paint them Fortnite so if you want to. Six foot forks. Probably use them for something tomorrow. Welding in the mud. We had snow the other day, so we did some mud welding with the Titanium MiG 170 today. Good welder for the money. I used flux core today, and I welded with 220, 220 volt out of the shipping container. Okay, so we'll try to get a video tomorrow of us using the fork apparatus on the Ford 1710. Say goodbye, Supervisor. Good. Bye. Bye, Supervisor. I'm gonna tell you right now, today did not go without accidents. I caught myself on fire with the grinder, and this little one didn't learn from his lesson, and he ran his head into that bucket three times. He's hard-headed like his mom, in both ways. Hey, got a hard, solid head and hey, is stubborn. I gotta tell you two flavors. I made this like an octagon, and, and, can you get me off up here now? I'm tired of sitting here. You're tired of sitting there, huh? Uh-huh. Gotta go sit somewhere else and supervise. No, I'm just gonna sound like that and do that. Um, no flood.
All right, folks, that's what we intended for the first project for the uh, forklifts on the tractor. Uh, the forks actually worked fine. They held up well. The hydraulics on the tractor worked fine. They were actually able to lift it all the way up with no problem. The problem was my tractor isn't thick enough in the booty. Um, when you lifted it up, even with the load all the way down to the ground, it picks the back tires up so I couldn't get any traction and I couldn't actually drive forward or backwards. So I ended up having to pull it like a sled to get it to where I wanted it to. So next time I do a project like this, I'll probably put the bush hog on the back of the tractor and load it down with a bunch of bricks. So we got this thing moved uh, for the third time. Um, didn't like where it was at. It was at the head of the trail. So if there was any action at the far end of the trail, I wasn't getting it. So I kind of moved it to the middle. And I actually moved it off the trail. I think it was too close to the trail where it stuck out a little bit. So now it's back into the woods off of the trail. And I can, uh, got a good view all the way across. So got it moved. Forks did well. Just had to have some more weight in the back of the tractor. It was it was not drivable, not in this uh, muddy soil conditions today. It would just dig down and not go anywhere. But hope you enjoyed the video. We got her done. Uh, the only casualty on this was the door on the back flung open, and at some point it got slightly ripped off. So I'm gonna have to fix it. But no big deal, everything else is good and solid. I got it on blocks for now. I'm not going to anchor it down to the floor, to the ground. We're going to see what it's like like this. Uh, we could, like I said, with that tractor, it would raise this thing up probably seven, eight foot. And if we ever wanted to run more uh, anchors into the ground, we could. But right now, it's just going to be a ground blind. We're going to see how it works here. Good and solid. Thanks for watching.